What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, if you're new, don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell so you can keep up to date with the latest videos coming out on my channel. Now first up, I wanna say a big thank you to William Wang for hooking me up with this awesome piece. If you wanna get your very own, you can hit him up on Facebook. I will leave his details in the description below. Um, he also sells a whole bunch of other one six scales, um, so check him out. So there you go, in front of us, is the packaging of the last samurai so this is made by a company called pop toys and the quality in this figure is 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 up there i absolutely love this piece i love the packaging that it comes in um, you can see there it's got a bit of uh, a bit of the details of what you get in the in the box on the back there uh, it's got a picture of the last samurai himself on the front um, yeah, just really, really well done. I will also show you, before we look at the accessories, I will open the box just so you can see inside. The actual cover of this packaging is um, a backdrop for the figure, which is pretty cool, and I will show you that later on in the video. So what I'll do now is I'll open the box just so you can see what it looks like on the inside. So you can see in there, inside the, when you take the cover off, you get this beautiful, um, Insert cover, picture of a tiger on there, some um, Japanese writing there, and you get this as, this as well inside, which is actually the instructions on how to display the armor on the display stand, which I'm not gonna attempt to do. Uh, yeah, it looks pretty hard and it also shows you how to attach the shoulder plates That's pretty cool All right, let's go ahead and take all the accessories out of the box so you can see what the last samurai comes with So here are all the accessories that the last samurai comes with and let me just start off by saying all the pieces are very well made I love the detail attention to detail in all the pieces um, Let's start off. I'll show you the helmet and you can see what I'm talking about if you have a look at the helmet, just a detail. And this feels like, I believe it's real, made out of metal. Feels like it's made out of real metal. Just have a look at the detail. It's very cool. And then you get his face plate. So when you put it all together, it's looking pretty menacing. And that's also pretty well detailed. So I like that. I'm not too sure what this is. It's like a, a chest plate. Just sits over his neck. Another bit of armor. And again, that it's all made out of like metal. It's really well done. You get his his belt just to hold his sword around his waist. Nothing too flash about it. I, only thing I fear is how long this will last. You get a bunch of hands. Um, you can see them there and then ungloved hands as well you get the spear so if you remember that scene from the last samurai when um, He's surrounded by all the samurais and um, Cosimoto sees him swinging this around and then he gets a, a vision and they capture him and take him back to their village. And again, this is I've still got the plastic on it, but the spear end it feels like it's made out of metal. This, the, the actual um, handle actually feels like it's made out of wood. And then you've got the cloth material for the flag. Only bummer is it's only got the print of the tiger on one side. On this side, is doesn't have anything. Now, I'll show you while I've got the, the spear. So this actual stand is for the spear. And then you just put it through there. And then you can display it on the stand. And again, this feels like it's made out of wood. It's nicely done. 
You get a little stand as well for the for his swords. I'll show you the detail in these. I'll just show you the stand anyway. Again, it's pretty cool. I don't know what these swords are actually called. Um, if anyone knows, uh, let me know in the comments. But I'll just show you the detail. Look at the handle. Get into focus. Show you the blade. And the blade feels like it's made out of like a metal. You can see it there. It's really well done. And just goes back in like that, like that. And then this bad boy. This is pretty cool. I'll show you. It's actually got engravings on the um see if you can see it. See there? The engravings. It's really cool. Well, it's gone a bit out of focus, but there you go. And again, it's really well done. Really impressed with this um, this figure and the accessories. And I can hear it clips in. That's pretty cool. You get this beautifully crafted um, box, which you can put some of your stuff in there. And it's also used for the display stand to display his armor when you take it off. You can actually take his armor all off, all off him, and then you can display it on this on this piece here. I won't show you any pictures of that because I'm not game enough to, to try it. It looks like it's a bit of an effort, but um, that's what this is all for. And then you just get the stand. Pretty basic, but it's good that they include one. So before we get into the movement with this figure, I just want to show you some of the detailing. Start off with the head sculpt. You can see it's pretty spot on. I think Pop Toys have done an amazing job with this um, one six scale. I think it, the detail in it is just immaculate. I mean, look at the suit. It's all metal. A little bit difficult to put these shoulder pads on. You've got to sort of be careful and you've got to slide these sort of pins through each other and then it sort of holds on to place. Have a look at the suit. Look at the detail in the suit. Look at that. All that, it's just amazing detail. Really, really impressed with this guy. Look at the back. It's really, really cool. I'm still not a big fan of the rooted hair. It does sort of frizz up here and there. Anyway, let's uh, get into how much movement you get. So down at the feet area, get a bit of movement. The knees do bend quite nicely. The legs going forward only to about there because it is hindered by the suit. Back, you don't get pretty much any movement going back. Um, it can do the splits, just be careful you don't rip his pants. Now, because of this chest plate being metal, you don't get much movement at all. His arms only go to about there. Because there's so much material on the suit, it sort of restricts it. Forward only to about there. Back, you don't get really any movement. I don't want to push my figure, but yeah, you don't get too much movement. Elbow does bend to about there. You can get a bit of movement there. Now the hands don't move pretty much at all because of all this armor sort of restricts it. So a bit of a bummer, but anyway. The 
Nick can go to about there, going forward, back, not a lot, and you can go left and left and right. All right, so there he is there on the rotating stand. Um, and you can see him there with his sword in his hand, ready for battle, and he looks frigging awesome. I think Pop Toys have absolutely killed this one. Like they've smashed it at the park. Like the detail that they've put in this figure is just unbelievable. Um, for me, I like the film, so it was a must buy. I can't wait. I've put a pre order already for Cosimono, and I think you'll look awesome next to this guy. Um, so I'm hanging for that guy as well. But as you can see there, it's just the detail in the suit, the head sculpt, I can clearly see Tom. Um, yeah, just unbelievable. The accessories are well made. Just everything about this 1-6 scale is just incredible. Now I've just gone and grabbed the, um, the backdrop that you actually get with it. So the cover of the box, like I mentioned at the start of the video, is actually a backdrop for the figure. And there you can see it there. So nice little touch. So just zoomed in one last time for, at that head sculpt there so you can get a good look at it again. And you can see the detail. I'm still not a big fan of the rooted hair. I, I think they should have gone with the sculpted hair. And then uh, for the helmet, um, like they've got on the, some of the, the other, like Hot Toys have done, you get a, a second head sculpt with shorter hair so you can fit a helmet on or hat or whatever. Um, cause this can be a little bit annoying, the rooted hair to sort of manipulate and get how you want it. Um, so yeah, but other than that, I mean, this thing is a, is an awesome piece. Well, that wraps up this review. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, subscribe. If you're on Facebook, check out Six Scale Club where you can post pics, videos on one six scales or just discuss one six scales with others. Well, that's it from me, guys. I'll see you next time on the channel, and as always, take care.